everyone! Thank you so much for coming back to my channel. The last time I spoke to you guys, I showed you guys my brand new planner. Today I'm going to open this up for you and show you how I've decorated it and how I've organized it, both for planning and also for budgeting. And I'm also going to review my September spending, how I did for my very first time cash envelope stuffing. And last but not least, I'm going to refill this with my new October budget money. So first things first, um, let's take a look at my new planner. So this is a planner I got from Michaels. I actually got it for about 40% off, um, which was a really good deal. And it came with some pages in it already, just a couple like lined pages and dotted pages, but I ended up buying these really pretty metallic um, calendar dates and the um, weekly spreads that uh, look like this. As you can see, I've already stickered it up. But anyways, with all 12 months in it, ranging from October to next September, the planner was really full. So I actually just filled it up with about six months worth of planning calendars. On the side here, I just have some of my uh, planning stickers that I also got from Michaels. This is all part of the recollection set that I got for 40% off last week. Um, but I'll be using some of these. As you can see, I've already used one right there. <laughs> And then I also have just my favorite little uh, black pen, pilot pens. I'm sure most people have seen those at the store. Anywho, so um, the first page has this really nice kind of plastic divider. It says, make great things happen. And then starting in October, it has this really cute font. Every month kind of has that cute font going on, but they're all different, which is pretty cool. Um, and then as I showed you guys before, I bought a whole bunch of washi tape. And as you've already kind of got in preview of, that is how I broke out my um, different sections of my October budget. Um, yeah, I also have kind of my dollar bill spread as well as I'm going to be doing a weekly check-in. And then also there's a little notes and thoughts page, which is really pretty. And then in the month of October, I've handwritten all the, um, all the different days. And then I'm starting to plan some of the things I have to do in preparation for um, a big move across the country I have coming up. Anyway, so let's start off with um, my October budget. So this month I had, after taxes, about $3,734. Um, I already filled all this in because I got so excited with my new planner. Um, I always like to pay myself first in my savings account, and I put in $500, and I'm left with $3,234 to spend this entire month. Um, you can see my bills listed out here. I have rent, water, electric, my car bill, my college uh, tuition, um, my cell phone bill, and my Spotify bill. In variables, I've given myself $150 for groceries, $90 for going out to eat, $40 for Wawa and 7-Eleven coffee in the morning, um, home goods, $30, going out, $40, unplanned events and expenses, $130, and then clothes and shoes, I have $50. So just a little update with you guys. I guess this goes into my previous month's spending. Um, for the first time in over two years, I had no credit card bill this month. I paid only cash, which is a huge win for me. So after totaling up all my bills and all of my variable expenses, I'm left with $646 left in just free money this month that I'm probably going to put right back into saving. So... Uh, I mean, what a win, guys. This was just, it was so unbelievably just freeing not to have a credit card bill. I don't even know, I can't even explain it. So if we go into last month's remaining bills, um, I, by the way, I'm really wanting cash envelopes with a really nice wallet, but everything I've seen on YouTube is just so expensive. So I think this worked really well for me last month, so I'm going to keep using it. <sighs> Leftover in gasoline. 
six bucks. Leftover in groceries, nothing. Going out to eat, nothing. Convenience store in Wawa, one, two, three, four dollars. And that's about it. Everything else in here is just like leftover stickies. This was essentially like my weekly check-in. Every once in a while when I was like, oh, oh shoot, how much money do I have left? I would kind of like write the remaining balance on these stickies. Like you can see on this one, um, every once in a while I would like write how much I had left. Um, that was kind of helpful. But now that I have this really nice planner, I'm not going to need these sticky notes anymore. So let's take this out. All right, so we have a fresh, clean envelope. I think for this, let's see, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. This ten bucks. Not sure what I'm gonna do with it yet. Probably just put it back into my savings account. I'm gonna set this to the side. So, back to my budget. I have. Like I said, I was so excited to like washy all this stuff up and throw in the numbers and see how much money I had ready for my savings account this month that I didn't even, uh, I, I just did it all without recording it. But next month, I'm going to record me writing all this stuff out and figuring exactly what I'm going to budget. I've already broken down uh, exactly what dollar bills I wanted to take out for each variable expense and I added it all up to make sure that it matched my budget. So I'm going to be referencing this right here as I cash envelope stuff. But first, let's get this cash out. Okay, so for gasoline, it looks like I am giving myself four $5 bills and six $20 bills. Two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, six. My bank does not give very crisp, very crisp bills, which is a little bit depressing, but oh well. Let's see, groceries, I've given myself five $20 bills and the 150. So, one, two, three, four, five. out to eat, I've given myself $90, eight $5 bills, and five $10 bills. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. For Wawa, I actually cut it down to 40 <laughs> this month instead of 50 and that's because at the end of the month I'm actually going to be moving so I won't need that extra $10 or so for the very last week in coffees. So I know here I have 50 um, so I'll just r take out 10 so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So all of this gonna go to Wawa 7-Eleven actually actually for home goods I'm giving myself three ten dollar bills so one two three and honestly most of these uh, ten dollar bills are gonna be spent on moving supplies I'm obviously not trying to fill my home with a bunch of decorations when I'm trying to move out. 
so I already know that a lot of this is going to go towards like tape and stuff like that because you can get a ton of like free moving boxes and free moving paper um, on like Facebook and Craigslist for free. <laughs> so always look for Craigslist and Facebook Marketplace before you go trying to buy a bunch of like moving boxes and stuff like that. Okay. Um, going out, I'm definitely going to be going out a lot this month, probably just, like, saying goodbye to friends and stuff, um, so I still did budget for that. Uh, ten one dollar bills and six five dollar bills, so that's all of my ones. And then, one, two, three, four, five, six, so that's the remainder of my fives. Let's see, going out. And then events, um, that's my unplanned events. I'm giving myself one $10 bill and six 20s. One, two, three, four, five, six. It's going to unplanned events. Probably not gonna go that, gonna go out that much this month, but we'll see. And then lastly, uh, $10 five ten dollar bills for clothes so one two three four five and that is the last of my cash envelope stuffing let's see guys I have to tell you a story I ripped a pair of jeans this past week and I was really sad because I only have three pairs of jeans and I wear them to work pretty much every day um, I actually went to Plato's closet to donate some clothes um, and see if I could get any money back. And while I was waiting for them to assess my clothes, I found the exact same pair of jeans I ripped from Target on sale for $5. So you know I got that. Anyways, um, so that concludes my cash envelope stuffing for the month of October. Um, in the coming months, things are actually going to be really different because I will be getting paid twice a month. Um, in my new job, they pay bi-weekly, which is going to be amazing, but I'm going to have to figure out how to budget accordingly. I am going to get an increased income every month, so that will also be exciting, and I can't wait to film that journey for you guys, and I'm looking forward to starting, uh, probably every other week checking in with you guys and seeing what, um, my spending patterns look like, but until then, thank you so much for clicking on this video, and I will see you next time.